12 measure tape right here. Why did you say back tops there? I just wanted to double check it. Put your fingers in there. Yeah. Here I'm marking the first wall stud 16 inches on center. That's what she said. Yeah, so basically we decided to double the square footage of the shed since initially it was a four by eight. Now it's gonna be an eight by eight. How's it going? All right, so I've got my top plate and my bottom plate marked out for where the wall, the front wall studs are going to be placed. We have a 32 inch nominal size door for the width and 80 inches high. So what I have here is a 34 inch rough opening to be able to fit that door plus the casing. All right. So 34 inches from Jack jack that's going to fit my 32 inch door plus the case to get this same exact 32 inch right hand in in swing exterior door from Lozer home depot brand new would have cost us about 375 dollars and we picked this door up off facebook marketplace for about 30 bucks all right we've got all these studs cut for the front wall and we're ready to go ahead and nail it all together
was using a 9 12 pitch instead of a 5 12 pitch. So I'm just going to have to recut these two and start over. But lesson learned, make sure you've got the right roof pitch before you do all your cuts and measurements. Alright, so I designed the roof to have a 5 12 pitch. Kind of did all my math right here on my 2x4 in order to figure out how long I need to cut these rafters. But essentially, um, the nominal length of my rafters is going to be 52.6 inches, and that converts up to about 52 and 10 sixteenths of an inch. So when I measure that, uh, the first thing that I have to cut is this first uh, plumb cut for the top. This is where the rafter is going to connect to the, uh, the ridge board. Then the next cut that I had to make is, or at least the next measurement, I had to measure another plumb line. And this is where the, uh, this is basically the nominal length of the rafter, that 52.6 inches. Then I measured another 6 inches, because this is going to be the overhang of the rafter. And then I measured out where this bird mouth cut was going to be. So this is the seat cut, and that is where the rafter is going to actually sit on the roof. And that's what makes that uh, 90 degree angle seat for the actual rafter to achieve the 512 pitch. So I'm using a speed square, a Swanson speed square, to measure out the um, angles for my plumb cuts. And I just use this pivot point right here as a reference right at the edge. And then since I'm, ha I'm making common rafters, this is the pitch. Since I'm using a 512, I would go to a number 5. And then I rotate along the pivot point until that 5 is parallel to the edge of the board there. And then, then I mark the cut. So then I would just mark right here. That's how to get that angle. So in order to actually cut the bird's mouth, I already measured the, uh, the plum cut here, which is the same angle as the top cut and also the same angle as this bottom cut over here and then what I do is I take the speed square and turn it around and find these two lines which mark a 90 degree angle and then I line it up with my line in order to mark out where this 90 degree angle should go All right. and then I would mark all the way across in order to get that bird mouth cut. So the shed is coming together over here, and I'm almost done with the roof framing. Got all the rafters installed, and all the ceiling joists installed. I just need to go up there and trim the corners of the ceiling joists, and then I need to install the rakes on the front and the back. Alright, let's see if you can do the monkey bars. Nice! Very good. So we're here on our way home from church and we decided to put the door on the shed because we figure it'll only take us about an hour and we won't get ridiculously messy. Um, let's see how long it actually takes us and how messy we actually get.
So today we worked on a little bit of the siding and we got two of the sides done. I got the back mm, two panels put on. I still have to do the triangle pieces at the top and then I still have to do the front side which will be a little bit trickier since I'll have to cut a few of those pieces to fit around the door. It's New Year's Day and it is almost 80 degrees out. Said we need a light in here. I have one, but just in the truck. Don't really feel like taking a video, but we're gonna take one. Uh, it's Sunday, which is one of our only work days, and it's raining. It's 57 degrees and it's pouring out. But we finished the shed. The door is painted. It is done, so there's that. <laughs>